Hello all, in this video we will get an overview of V-Ray 2.0 for SketchUp. If you have just started V-Ray for SketchUp or you are already using it, this video will clear the perspective of V-Ray for SketchUp in many ways. So let's get started for demonstration. I will be using SketchUp 2016 and V-Ray 2.0 and a panel door model made by me in SketchUp. Before we start rendering, we should know what default settings in V-Ray for SketchUp are. Go to the main toolbar in the V-Ray for SketchUp or VFS. Click on the second icon in the main toolbar, which will bring up the V-Ray for SketchUp option editor. The default options in V-Ray for SketchUp are set up so that certain elements of V-Ray are already enabled. This is good because certain aspects that are specific to V-Ray are already configured with a proper setting. However, there are a number of elements which are contributing to the final render and it is important to know what they are so that unwanted results are avoided when we start adjusting the render options ourselves. We should know the key elements specific to V-Ray that are already configured with proper settings. There are few main elements specific to V-Ray. Indirect illumination, V-Ray Sun, V-Ray Sky, and V-Ray Physical Camera. Now we will do a test render on V-Ray default settings. There is no materials assigned to this model. Also create an infinite V-Ray plane with the help of V-Ray plane tool with the main toolbar. Click the third icon from the main toolbar to start the render. You will get this grey tone image with dark shadows without changing any settings in the V-Ray options. Now we will understand indirect illumination in brief. Indirect illumination is simply light that does not come directly from a single light source. In V-Ray, it includes two types of light, global illumination and bounce light. Global illumination is simply a dome of light that is emitted around the scene. And bounce light is simply the light energy that is bounced from a surface. Now let's
we need to adjust the camera settings to get desired results. There are three main elements in V-Ray physical camera. Shutter speed, film speed or ISO number and F number. The F number and the film speed or ISO number affects the brightness of the image. F number affects the image brightness only when the exposure box is checked in V-Ray physical camera settings. Shutter speed also plays a role in image brightness. More the shutter speed, darker the image. Let's check all these three elements one by one and make a proper balance of them to get a desired result. We will start from shutter speed. Let's say we double the shutter speed from default 300 numbers to 600 numbers and render the model to see the effect. As you can see, the image is getting clearer now. You can adjust the shutter speed accordingly to get the proper amount of light required in the model. Now let's make the shutter speed to default 300 numbers and change the F number from default 8 to 15 and start our render to see the effect. As you can see, increasing the F number also decreases the brightness of the image in comparison to the previous default render. Now, by keeping the F number and shutter speed the same, let's adjust the default film speed or ISO number from 100 to 200 numbers and start the render to see the effect. As you can see, the image is brighter than the render with the previous settings and we are also able to see each and every part of the model clearly and it is also less bright than the default render. This is just an example to explain you the basic concept. There are n number of possibilities that you can do with the help of all three basic elements in V-Ray which I will explain in detail in my later tutorials. Join me on Facebook or other social platforms to get connected. If any doubt or questions, write them down in the comment section please. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos to your friends. Thanks.